हेलो एवरीवन सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज फार एज द सी एस आई आर एंड गेट एग्जामिनेशन आर कंसर्न सो एवरी ईयर और अनदर अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डॉपलर शिफ्ट हैज़ बीन आस्ड सो इन मोजबैल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एज वी नो यूज अ सोर्स एंड एन एब्जॉर्बर न्यूक्लियर एब्जॉर्बर न्यूक्लियर इज आई एन फिफ्टी सेवन एंड सोर्स इज कोबाल्ट फिफ्टी सेवन सो here in this question we are given that frequency of the source that is cobalt 57 and velocity of the source is given now we have to calculate the frequency shift between source and the absorber this is also known as doppler shift okay in doppler shift in this phenomena we take a moving source that is cobalt 57 in order to minimize the recoil loss okay so i will discuss that later so in this question we have to do just a calculations so doppler shift is given as i am writing out for you this is given as frequency of the source into velocity of the source divided by speed of light okay this is velocity and this is speed of light we have to just look at the values frequency of the source is given as 3.48 into 10 ke power 18 hertz okay this is a csir question i don't remember in which year it was asked so 3.48 into 10 ke power 18 hertz in two velocity is given 2.2 mm per second so this is 2.2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter per second divided by speed of light 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second it is in meter per second that's why we change it from millimeter per second to meter per second on solving you can solve just 3.48 into 2.2 divided by 3 and this is 18 this is 8 so this will become minus 11 and my minus 18 so this will become 10 raised to power 8 and 10 11 so this will be equals to 7 okay so by dividing we get around 3 to 6 and this will be around 2.5 okay into 10 raised to power 7 hertz okay so we can divide by it by 2.5 into 10 raised to power 7 hertz okay just divide by 10 raised to power 6 then we will get 2.5 into this 10 megahertz okay this means around 25 megahertz because 1 megahertz equals to 10 raised to power 6 hertz so 25 was the current correct option so thank you